What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back in with another video and today you guys we're gonna see if we can make money ripping Paradox Rift. What is going on Hilltop TCG family? That's right guys, today we have a booster box of Paradox Rift and we're gonna see if we can make money ripping a booster box, you guys. So, I mean, I have the utmost confidence in this set and I'm gonna get into here why right now. But I mean, I think the last few sets, there hasn't been a chance in the swear word of the place down below to make money guys obsidian flames couldn't do it paldea i mean maybe if you rip the product early there's a chance but i think there is actually a decent chance for paradox rift so guys let's take a look at tcg player real quick and let's take a look at the singles guys so this is super interesting to me so the one concern is they've kind of changed around the ratios on these boxes where you're only going to get probably one sir there's definitely at least one or two boxes per case where you are going to get a gold and an sir or two sirs but it's probably one per six boxes so it is rare but it can be done but i mean right here i mean again there's no other there's not a like a 200 dollars card charizard right there's a 97 dollars roaring moon which this card is actually going up in value i think it went down to like 80 85 bucks now it's at 97 let's see if tomorrow if we can go over 100 but i mean there's just this massive list right here, and I think I counted them. There's th over 30 cards that are worth worth over 10 bucks. 30 cards over 10 bucks, and then if you keep scrolling down, I mean, just IRs, IRs left and right. But I think down here, two dollars and above, there was like 90 total. So there's 60 cards that are over two dollars plus the other 30 that are over 10 dollars. So there's 90 cards of like value that you could actually really count truly as cash from opening a box obviously there's the other ex's stuff like that that has um kind of like the bulk value and we're going to give credit for that here too um the other side of the coin here and i have it on this tab this new tcg player is actually really nice and you can hit this little preferences over on the side and you can actually um filter out like the uncommons and commons so i did this and i sorted it from greatest to least so there's the the earthen vessel and then there's the professor sedas i mean three dollars a dollar a dollar a dollar a dollar so there's several trainers here that we're going to pull out that actually have a dollar plus in value so that could also help you make money on a booster box so that is pretty crazy right here and the last part you guys what we got to look at is the cost of a booster box now these days so this is they're steadily going down by like a dollar or so each day right now you can go buy a booster box for 104 dollars shipped on tcg player I mean, you see this graph, it started out at 140 and it's, it's spiked up a little bit on release and then it's it's uh, plopped down a little bit down to $104. So, I mean, tons of people trying to offload them at $104 a piece. And I mean, that's the symptom of the supply is greater than the demand, right? Um, people can get singles. They know they, they know they can get a cheaper booster box. So, they're just waiting for other shops trying to offload it, make chain, beating each other by 10 cents, right? I think... Um, this is going to be below $100 at some point, but I think it will go back up because there are so many playable cards here for the new TCG that people are going are, are gonna to want to rip. But I mean, it might just make sense opening these boxes for the singles. Like you can make $100 back just opening them. So what we're going to do is we're going to test that out right now, you guys. Um, enough of me talking. We got a hunt. We basically, so let's get on this beautiful booster box. So we got $100, $104, we're going to go 105 bucks, 105 bucks down here, 105 bucks. So we're going to see if we can beat that. Um, there obviously are code cards, things like that that will incorporate. We got 105 bucks right here. Let's get this box open. Boom. There you go, you guys. Got it all out of the box. Here you go, guys. We got 36 packs. We're going to see if we can make money right now. Down here in the bottom of the screen, we got that $105 mark to be. I'm going to give us a generous $5 buffer. $5 buffer for revenue right here. We got bulk. We have the code cards. Um, so that can value hopefully around five bucks. We're gonna give us a generous $5 start to this bad boy. As I'm ripping in this first pack though, guys, hey, don't forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button, click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video. All that goes such a long way. It means a bunch, you guys. So please go do it. All right, so here we go. Can we, a great start. Parasol Lady Full R. Okay, that's a valuable trainer. That's a, that's a great, great start. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Can you make money? opening up paradox rift and i mean there's there's the cool part that's why i'm why i'm doing this i want to talk about it 
is there's the trainers, the uncommon trainers that have a few dollar value. There's the EXs on the base side that have a few dollar value, right? Like more than just a more than just bulk rate, right? There are eight to sixteen dollar EXs on the base side that have playability value. So that's great to see. So that helps on adding up profitability potential. We got that crustal right here. IR to give us an IR little juicer right there. Parasol is a great start. So, I mean, I I like again. I'm not a big. I'm not an advocate for opening up Pokemon to make money. The high, your odds of making money in, on most sets opening up a full booster box or any kind of product in a large quantity, unless you're doing it super early. The Rika S I R. There we go. So we got an S I R. We got the Parasol lady to start out with this is a great start guys can we keep it going um but again not an advocate to open up a bunch of this to make money but there we go that's a good little reverse right there and we have the iron hands which is also a playable ex to get um you're not gonna make money most of the time but why i'm talking about this is i think lgs's are kind of in the position to open up stuff a lot of the time now because let's talk about it tcg player you saw it over there. $104, $105, a booster box right now. You can go just buy. Hey, we got the Serena Terra. You can go buy um, all day, right? So as a game store, TCG player is going to hit you with a 15% fee. No, 14%. We'll go 14%. 14% fee, all said and done, just to sell that booster box on TCG player. So you're going to be at around a hundred you're, you're, you're gonna be at ten dollars plus probably four or five bucks you're gonna be you're probably gonna be at like fifteen dollars in fees 14 15 dollars in fees just to sell that box on tcg player so just to sell it you're taking a fifteen dollar cut right there right so that's gonna put you right around 90 bucks got toxicity by the way tara um ninety dollars so you have to ship it too and you have to ship the box, which is on average going to be around eight to ten dollars, eight to ten dollars to ship a booster box because it is heavy. It weighs around two pounds. So right there, you're down around eighty bucks. Eighty bucks as an LGS to sell on TCG Player right now for a Paradox box. Um, the cost now these days for an LGS is around ninety dollars. Ninety to ninety-five dollars is the cost of a booster box from your local like your your distribution channel for your local game store that's what they're going to get them at so they're in a pickle right like they they need to offload the product to get to get free up money to go buy all their stuff um so hey the loudred ir that's a great box this is a great box we got my favorite ir that's my chase card right there let's keep it going um they're in a pickle they said I i'm willing these there's these stores out here that are obviously selling it on there and they're willing to sell it for a hundred and five dollars knowing that they're going to lose ten dollars just to free up cash so why not potentially open the product right here right there's a chance that yeah you're going to make fifty dollars back in singles but there's a chance you might make 120. so you could sit here and open up a bunch of products we got the bomber deer full art right there i got the bomber deer full art um you got you got to either risk it for the biscuit or you just take your automatic $10 loss, right? So it's an unfortunate place that these game stores are in. Um, and I, I hope Pokemon sees that and wants to remedy it. But they should know that with the current supply and the, 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 mar the market, the demand just isn't there. So all these companies that started Pokemon, that got it off its feet, aren't making money anymore. Just because there's, there's a saturated market with that, that product. So... Um, and obviously, consumers, I want the best deal for the consumer, right? But there's got to be that balance to keep these game stores in business and also have the consumer support and get a good deal, right? So, I don't know, it's an interesting line. Hilltop's in a great place, right? We have awesome streams going. We have customers coming in into our shop willing to pay still $110, $120 a booster box, and we don't have to ship it, right? So then we have that, we're still making a profit, which is which is nice, Um and on stream, right? We can sell packs for four dollars all day, so that's gonna make us that's gonna make us a profit there as well. So, um, 
just an interesting world and you're kind of seeing a lot of these game stores struggle right now unfortunately because of just that oversaturation in the market so i don't know let me leave a comment let me know i know if it's a big rant video as i'm ripping into these hey we got the gargalankle gar 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 gargalankle something like that um we got what 11 hits right here 11 hits and we still have like eight packs left so we could see a potentially 13 hit box right now to help us make one we have the parasol lady we have the rika those aren't gonna i mean there's a cool i think it's like a 15 both of them are like 15 maybe 25 30 dollar card right here we have um some good irs we have a playable ex we have a um just kind of a base level full art so i think we should probably if we had a chance We'd have to hit one more decently value card. Mewtwo, I think it holds like a $2 value right there. There's 12 hits right there. Great to see. We have, we still have five packs left. So there's the potential for maybe another SIR, maybe another gold. Who knows? Who knows on this box? Only one way to find out, and that is to rip it open like crazy. The Kingdra right there. All right, we got three packs left. Can we do it? I'm going to go through. I'm going to pull out the trainers real quick. And we'll see, hey, the Tapu Coco S-I-R. So a double banger box, you guys. That's the chance. You got to risk it for the biscuit. There we go. I love the art on that card. And we had the Rika over here a little bit under my face. Wow, guys. So a 13 hit box right now. I mean, surely can't expect anything else out of this. So we have the chance. You guys know already the price. I don't know. I'm a little one take Timmy right here. So we're going to see if we actually made money right now. And hey, that's a that's a good little little juice up right there. And nothing on that last pack, guys. So we literally had 13 hits. We had two SIRs, the Parasol Lady. I mean, we had a playable EX. You couldn't get really any better. You had three IRs. You could not get a booster box really any better without spiking the Roaring Moon $97 card, which would be basically instant profit, right? So right now I'm gonna pull out the trainers. I'm gonna add that also to the total and I'll total these up and then we can have that discussion to see if we actually made money. All right, you guys, so there you go. You guys saw it before I did $84.50 before all the trainers. So yes, we lost money on a double SIR box, right? So we didn't hit any of the higher end SIRs. We still had a double SIR box and we got $84.50. We have a ton of trainers though, a ton of trainers. These are ETH, the earthen vessels are $3 a piece right now. And then there's a few dollar ones and then I gave a bunch of them 50 cents. So that, but this alone, these trainers right here are 20 bucks, $20 all day on TCG player, 20 bucks. So that puts our final total at $104 and 50 cents. So we basically lost 50 cents, right? So all said and done, we almost broke, broke even if I went and bought this box for $105 on TCG player. Yes, I do now have to go list all these cards. I do have to ship all these cards. So there's the shipping costs involved. So was I probably in the same place of just selling it for and losing $10? Yes, right? But then if you open up multiple booster boxes, you have the chance of hitting the higher end SIRs. You might have more of a chance of actually making money versus just taking that L and losing $10 as a shop selling it on TCG Player. So I don't know. I just wanted to get that out here, guys, that you know what? I mean, don't expect to make money. Open up Pokemon cards. There's a chance at least to break even and we're having fun ripping stuff right there. There's other ways that I could sell these singles without having to take on a bunch of shipping fees um, via streaming, etc. People could come in the shop and pick up these trainers. So there is ways for shops to still make money, but there's a little bit more effort involved. So there you go, guys. I mean, we broke even. It was fun. It, I enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know all of your opinions on this. What do you think? I'd love to read them. But hey, if you guys made it to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Have a great night weekend, whatever it is for you. Peace.